rise to the right. After a day of contentious debate, UK lawmakers passed two amendments, one a bid to save Theresa May's Brexit agreement and one that assumes it can't be saved. Amendment N seeks unspecified alternatives to replace the controversial Irish backstop provision in the withdrawal agreement May has already negotiated with Brussels, an agreement Parliament overwhelmingly rejected in mid-January. Hardline Brexiters fear the backstop could threaten the structural integrity of the UK and permanently bind it to the EU. This amendment will give the mandate I need to negotiate with Brussels an arrangement that commands a majority in this House. One that ensures we leave with a deal and addresses the House's concerns while guaranteeing no return to the hard border between Northern Ireland and Ireland. But Brussels quickly threw cold water on those plans, with European Commission President Donald Tusk calling the existing withdrawal agreement the best and only way to ensure an orderly withdrawal of the UK from the EU, with the backstop a part of an agreement that is not open for renegotiation. The other amendment passed, a non-binding resolution calling for the government to avoid crashing out of the EU without an agreement in place. Opposition Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn had previously refused to meet with May until she personally ruled out a no-deal Brexit. We are prepared to meet her to put forward to put forward the points of view from the Labour Party of the kind of agreement we want with the European Union to protect jobs, to protect living standards and to protect rights and conditions in this country. But with Brexit Day, March 29th, fast approaching, Parliament's only concrete suggestion for avoiding a no-deal scenario is to ask the EU for what it has already refused, further negotiation.